I mean, you must be pretty happy. It's a century on your first year gear in preparation for the test match. How did you set your own innings? Yeah, it was nice to get out there. Um, we've we've obviously had a few days in the nets, which were quite spicy. Um, knowing that the middles won't play potentially like that, it was always a good challenge. But nice to get out in the middle again and uh, get some uh, valuable time in the legs. And um, yeah, I know it's only a warm-up game, but you still got to you, you got to do the the time I guess uh, out there it was nice to to get a good knock um, yeah personally I've been in good form back home as well so yeah I'd like to think I'm definitely match fit and match ready which is a nice thing coming into a really important series um, but yeah it was a quite a good outing for all our batters to get out there it was um, wasn't the easiest up front to the new balls quite uh, slow and ball nipped around a little bit but we managed to negate that and um, yeah I guess uh, the score kind of speaks for itself for now, um, but nice to see some other batters put their hands up as well. Cole, that was a really good knock by him, and I guess with Quentin no longer with you, um, he's a wicketkeeper batsman, a batter, but uh, tell us a bit about him. That was a really good counter-attacking innings, and, and uh, he, he got his maiden 100 this year, so yeah. th that's what he can do. Yeah, he's also another guy that's been in form back home. Um, I think he's got a double 100 and a 80-odd, uh, which is nice. Uh, Nice for him coming into what's going to be a really important series for him as well. Um, I guess with regards to numbers in previous series, he hasn't really kicked on like we thought maybe he would have in New Zealand, but his, his characteristics and the, and the talent's definitely there. Um, I think it's innings like this just to get his confidence going again with regards to international, the international scene. Um, but yeah, good, good for him to come in and play that way. Um, it's, I think he always plays his best cricket when he's looking to score and be positive, um, which, is a, 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 which is a promising sign for us uh, going forward into the series. Um, yeah, so happy to see, really happy to see a guy like Carl go out and, and bat his natural way, which, was, uh, which is promising for us. Is that going to be the key for South Africa on this tour? I mean, obviously your pace attack is, is top notch blue chip. But your batting was a little bit fragile, I guess, in England. Um, yeah. What's the key for, for you when it, when it comes to your batting order? You, yeah. You, you want runs, don't you, really? No doubt. I, th I think especially playing in Australia. Um, the England series, I think, were outskilled in really tough batting conditions as well. So people need to be mindful about that as well. It's easy to jump to conclusions. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, in Australia, you need runs on the board. Um, it's, a, it's a really good contest between bat and ball. Um, you apply yourself with a bat and you're going to score runs. You bowl well. Put the ball in the right areas and ask the right questions you're going to get rewards with regards to that as well so yeah but runs on the board is vitally important uh, in Oz but um, we need to give our bowlers the best chance to take 20 wickets and we need to score runs and that gives them time that buys them time in the game to to go and out to go out and try and get those 20 wickets for us to to give us the best chance of winning um, but yeah, runs are, runs are vitally important in, in, in test cricket and uh, yeah, we haven't been up to scratch of late. Uh, but I've, I haven't shied away from those combos. Uh, I've been pretty open and honest with regards to that and I've been open and honest with regards to, to our batters in the change room. And uh, yeah, it's good to see guys respond uh, in the nature like they did today. And um, yeah, there's a lot to work on and a lot to build on as well going forward. With it, it's it runs as well. It's also a, an element of what is it, endurance or concentration or toughing out the difficult periods, which you kind of were able to do. And that they, there's been a lot sort of spoken about the, the lack of centuries in Test cricket over quite a, quite a while now. Is that what, what do you think that is? What do you put it down to? Yeah, I think a lack of focus was maybe the one uh, aspect that that jumps out a little bit. I don't think our batting conditions we had were extremely batter friendly of late. Um, people always just see the end result and I guess that's ultimately what you, what people will only look for. They don't see the, the behind the scenes kind of scenarios that unfold. But um, yeah, a lack of focus was maybe something that, that maybe didn't get us over the line in a few games. Um, yeah, my job is to make the guys aware of that. and get their focus back and make sure they're looking after the smaller things with regards to batting and, and, and capitalising on uh, opportunities that we have and just get used to scoring runs again. Um, so yeah, it's, 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 it's also test cricket. Test cricket is, is challenging. You're facing your best bowlers uh, in that respective country. Um, they're not going to make it easy for you, no doubt. Um, so yeah, it's just about implementing the small basics uh, where we maybe didn't do that in the past and uh, addressing it, making it aware in the change room 
making the players aware uh, about it and, and moving forward from that. Do you think that, that also from what you know about Australia, that conditions in Australia are more suited for South African batters generally um, when, it when it comes to, to batting? Maybe, in a way. It's pretty similar to back home, in a way. Um, you find, yeah, batting is a lot more true. The ball, the bounce is a little bit more true. We're back home, it's a little bit untrustworthy sometimes, especially as um, you go into day three, four and five in South Africa. But you find, yeah, in Australia, it's, it is a lot more true and you can trust your, you can trust your eye and you can trust your ability. Um, so I would like to think that coming here has, can suit us better, um, no doubt. We are playing at three really good batting venues, in my opinion. Um, but again, like I say, they're also venues that uh, exploit uh, good bowling as well. Um, yeah, it's just about, you got to control what you can control and the, the outcome is never really there. So we, I'm a process driven captain and we need to, we need to control our process. And um, there's a lot of small things that make up that process. Um, and so far we've really been uh, quite conscious around what the process actually entails. What about, so I was just going to ask yeah. about ten. We'll go one last question. Yeah. Yeah. You go first. yeah, I was just going to say, um, just talking about square of the wicket play, yeah, you, you were very strong today. You played some wonderful pull shots. Um, and Kyle also was very yeah. good square of the wicket. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, this is a big thing for, for, for playing against Australia. Yeah. Is, is, are there other batsmen that are... Um, as good in your team and, and, and do you think that's going to suit them? I think you, you've got to occupy at least three quarters of the field as a batter in Australia um, purely yeah. because the, the balance is there. Um, you also got to score pretty well down the ground and that maybe forces the bowler to bowl that you can play a square of the wicket. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, all our batters are equipped for that, no doubt. Um, yeah. Yeah, um, I've, I've, I've no doubt with regards to their skill um, and them implementing their skill. It's just about getting that result and being patient around that result. Um, so yeah, hopefully we do a lot of good things come uh, Test Cricket Day and um, those kind of things play into our hands. But um, again, our process, we, we got to go out there and earn our process. Um, it's not just going to happen. We up against uh, four <laughs> bloody good fast bowlers and a and an equally brilliant spinner, um, which is what kind of test cricket is about. You know, you know, you want to play against the toughest, but you've got to also go out and earn what your team needs you to do. And uh, yeah, that's that's basically the message that our batters have been uh, have been given um, coming here to Australia. And yeah, hopefully it pays off for us. And I was just going to ask one about Temba, obviously not batting in the first innings. Are there big concerns about him, or are you? think he looks okay what's the story yeah I don't know the medical uh, background I know obviously this is a it is an elbow injury that he's had before and it came right and I think he's just jarred it a little bit so I'm not too concerned just yet hopefully he can come out and bat in the second innings here at uh, Allen Border and um, yeah he's, he's the one guy that needs to get time in the middle he, he hasn't had that of late and that's all been spoken of uh, at length but um, yeah we just need to give him the best opportunity to go out and and get some time in the middle and and hopefully make himself available for that first test um, so yeah behind the scenes we're doing everything to get him going and uh, yeah I'm pretty sure he's chomping at the bit as well to get playing um, I know how much he loves playing for South Africa and the test side as well so yeah we need we need a guy we need him fit and he's been a He's been one of our solid batters of late. Um, the last year, year and a half, he's been really good for us. So having him in that middle order um, is vital for us. And um, yeah, hopefully he bounces back from uh, his little, little interruption.